Hey, everybody. Hey, Jackie. Hi. Hey, Debbie. How are We're you? We're just laughing. We're being a little silly right now. It's Friday. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Friday fun God. day. <laughs> fun day, yes. Um, okay, so how are you guys? Andy, how are you? Doing great. Good. I'm... That long answer you... was just made me so tired. Hi, oh. Jackie. <laughs> hey, Jackie. Hi. Um, our, our favorite I'm, techie girl. Yeah, I was posted, putting up all my tablets really quick. Um, I'm doing good. I've been busy this week at work. I was busy yesterday. We did a day trip up to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for um, early birthday. There's a place called Pigeon, Pigeon Forge. what? Pigeon Forge. Forge. Pigeon Tennessee. Forge. Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you have? I don't know. Do they have grits there? What do you have? Um, Paula Dean <laughs> actually has an all family style restaurant. Paula, oh. Paula, I love Paula you. Paula Dean, yes. I love her. Oh my god. Um, and we, mom, my what's mom it, and I were What's the just, name of it? What's the name of it? It's called um, Paula Dean's Family Kitchen, and oh, it's all family me. style. Oh. So. Oh, I, I, I love her. I love her. So we've gone okay. to the one in Savannah. So we've gone to the one in Tennessee. So that's what we did yesterday. Oh wow! Well, I'm I've got a Kleenex all the time, you guys, only because I have allergies, and um, they're hitting here, hitting me in San Diego. Plus, I just got out of the pool, and so the biggest thing now is I need a nap. If you guys don't mind, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we're gonna be. I know, I'm so tired. Um, we got lots to talk about. We're going to be doing readings, so post your questions about, uh, you know, love, money, what in general you want to know. You know, what do what do what does the other side want to tell me? Things like that. We'll be doing those later. Uh, at the very end, let's see. Can you guess where I've been? Na 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 na. Talk about. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Live my. So, Taco we're giving Bell. we're giving away Taco Bell gift card at the end of the night. Okay, well, the night in one hour. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll be giving that away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not the end of the night. I will be. I'll need a little bit more of this diet Mountain Dew, which I never. I haven't had it before. And I go to Taco Bell, and they go, "Oh, it's diet." Oh, I love this. This is really good, <laughs> and keeps you awake, and it's great. Um, we, let's see, we got lots of stuff. Number one, Michael, um, Mace Mason from Cinema Mason Productions is our roving reporter at Comic-Con. Uh, evidently his girlfriend's phone works very, a lot better than Michael's. Michael, <laughs> um, he froze like four times during that, um, uh, live broadcast, but his heart's in it. He's showing us all the stuff and they're out and set that they're going to go get some kind of, what are they, pop dolls, pop, what are they? You know, the little rubbery plastic dolls? Oh. What are those called? K-pops? What are those? K-pop something? K-pop is don't know. a music. This, <laughs> this is a music girl. You're making it things? up, Debbie. It's a pop thing. I know it's K-pop is Korean pop, pop music. <laughs> Popsicle. <laughs> no. What they're are those little dolls, something. you guys? So Who in the, well, what viewer knows what these little pop dolls are? I know. They've got like the little guy, the round guy, the Star Wars, and they've got, I don't know, other things. I'm not into it. I see <laughs> them all over. They're off to find for their collection. Uh, but they are showing us all the fun stuff there. Mm -hmm. So um, really, um, um, you know, it's interesting to see what's going on in um, at Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, my girlfriend's daughters are there. They were on a panel today. This is their last panel. That's Shauna and Julie Benson. They write, they wrote Batgirl, Girls of Prey, and now they're writing The Green Arrow. So anyway, mm -hmm. they were there today, and um, I was hoping to get an interview. Uh, no. And, <laughs> but anyway, he's showing all the kind of the fun and how it's bustling and where everything's at and all of that. And you know what? I've had tickets and I've never gone. So what? I know. I just, uh, yeah. You know, to get down there is like you have to neck. take, you have to take the trolleys all the yeah. way. 
and um, I know it's crazy. And um, they're going to expand the uh, convention center so more people get to go and more tickets will be sold and That's all that. very crowded. But, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit much. They've wanted to move it to L.A. and we're all screaming. You know, it's it's San Diego's. We lost, mm -hmm. we we lost, lost the, the Chargers. Freaking Chargers, you know, come on. Oh. We can't, can't take, take Comic-Con away. away either. Yeah. Is that and bad? You know, yes, we won't talk about it. Oh, yeah. You know, they, uh, a lot of them, uh, a lot of the sports people live in my neighborhood, you know, the, you know, everybody and not right here. They live down the street in the big McMansions. And so, um, but, you know, we took a lot of pride in having the Charger football team. And, you know, first game I ever went to was in 1969. Mm. And so, you know, they're in our hearts and then they're gone. It's all about money. What do you do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? They should have built them a decent stadium. The stadium is like a toilet. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you 100% true. It's really awful. So maybe they'll get, maybe they'll do something. They're going to bring soccer. And I'm like, eh, okay. I don't know. Soccer is kind of entertaining. Not going to lie. I, I watched the World Cup. <laughs> You know, I've been into football forever because my cousin was, a, he's a Hall of, Hall of Famer. He was a coach for the Atlanta Falcons and he worked and he was a player on the Rams and some other team. But he, Norm Van Brocklin, famous, famous guy that you guys are going, huh? Norm, who? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty famous in the day. So I grew up watching him. But um, nonetheless, um, Comic Con's going on. Hopefully we'll get a feed later or we'll get it tomorrow, at least a little peek into what's going on down there. And uh, we do want to talk about the story contest, but guess what I got in the mail, Andy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who'd you get? Who'd you get? So, <laughs> um, so we've got a $300 prize for our star story contest. So we'll, t we'll tell you just a little bit about it. Andy, you can tell a little bit about it in a few minutes. But one of the things that I got part of the prize is Angelina Jolie's uh, signed autograph um, as Maleficent. So it came in the mail mm -hmm. with a certificate. It comes with, of course, it's in the bag. Um, it comes with a certificate <laughs> of authenticity with a hologram. And so you know it's real. And so here it goes. Let me see if I can get it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, gee. Then you have it upside down. There we go. And there she is. And there is her signature. This is it, yes. so much better than when I saw the picture on online. It's so good. So um, you'll be able to frame it yourself. But that's going to be put in the um, in the prize package. So I mean, there's such good things in there. There's going to be a Visa gift card. It's going to be tarot decked by Andy Benson, the famous medium. Um, it's going to be autographed picture, autographed book. It's going to have two full readings, some other goodies that we throw in there. But let me tell you what I got before we do. Guess what Debbie got for Debbie? Oh, you guys. Ah. Who is oh, that? Johnny Depp. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at the signature. Can you see Captain the signature? Captain Sparrow. There's the signature. Oh, let me, uh, I don't make you beg. I'm going to make you. <laughs> I don't need that, thank you. I've done well enough on my own. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Here he is. There's Shmi. Is it Shmi? And, um, or is it, what's his name? I don't know. And then here's his signature down there. So this I Debbie got for Debbie because my son has him as Captain Jack Sparrow, but I don't. So now I do. And mm. oh, guess what I got? I got a Christmas present for somebody. And I know nobody's going to tell my husband. He doesn't watch this anyway. But <laughs> he loves uh, Bruce Springsteen, the boss. And he's from New Jersey. Both of them are. And here he is. Wow. Oh, awesome. So you can see. 
And his signature goes all the way across. All the way across. You see the blue? Yeah. He was good at doing that. So oh, okay. I'm going to I'm going to frame it and stick it away for Christmas. I've been wanting this for a long time and it comes up for auction once in a while. And just because of the connection of New Jersey and everything. So I'm so excited. It's gonna be so great. So anyway, now you tell how what how do they get in for this fabulous three hundred dollar prize, Andy? Well, let's see here. Um, you guys, I'm gonna have to leave the leave the chat for just a moment, and I'll be back. Um, okay. I yeah I I'm not seeing any comments, and I can't change my view, so it's kind of acting up. So I'll be right back. Okay. All right. It's up to us, Jackie. It's the Debbie he, and Jackie show now. Yes, it is. He always <laughs> wants to get out of going over the rules and all that. You guys were looking for a spiritual, uh, paranormal, or scary story of a thousand words approximately, which is like two double spaced, pa you know, pages if you typed them. And um, so we're going to do a random drawing of all the entries. So it's not like the best, the best or scariest, whatever. No, it's just everybody goes in and puts one in, one story in, gets an entry. And if you put more than one uh, story in, you get an entry for each story. You just have to go to psychicfixes.com, go to story contest, just press on that. And there'll be a form there. First, you get all the rules, then a form to go ahead and paste in your story. And if it's too long, just do it twice, okay? And so every story that you put in, you get an entry for a $300 prize. We're all like super excited about that. I went ahead and told them everything. You got off the hook. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. I see what you did there, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I missed it. So Dang it. Okay. So Jack, I'm working funny. here. When we get comments tonight, um, they're still not coming through mm -hmm. for for me on my end. So mm -hmm. if you see anything, um, well, questions when we're ready, but anything else like highs or whatever, can you type those in for yeah. us? Okay. Do you know, are you on a phone? Yeah, I, but I can pull up my keyboard. Oh. Here, and you're not able mm -hmm. to fully see it. If you, no, if you can't do that, that's okay. I'll just, I can bring up a watcher We're, live feed. You're a, I'm you're, sorry. You're a medium. You just got to go, I think that the next <laughs> question is. Well, we all know Carlos is always here. So that's oh, a giveaway. Oh, yeah, he is. I can, you know, I can never see anything. So I don't know why, but I can't. Okay, here we go. It's coming up for you? Well, no, not on Live. <laughs> Not on B Live, but, but I, I can yeah, on Facebook I can see who's here and okay. okay. Um so Angel, welcome. Hi. Hi uh, Angel. Corey Drain, Carlos, uh Godswell is here, Nancy Myers. Hey says Nancy. Hi. hi. Um Vicky McDonald. Yeah. Oh, Vicky, yeah. hi. Yeah, yeah, it says I have nobody here. Yeah. You know what? So. Okay, you know when you were talking, we, we, didn't you put you put some kind of a bingo thing up, like conference call bingo or something, Andy? You yeah. don't even remember what you put up, do you? <laughs> no, you put some kind of a game up that would be fun for people in an office, and they said that's what we need. Oh, we need to yeah. have bingo cards that they can right. download. And play bingo like technical difficulty. Yeah. Cross that one off. <laughs> when Andy leaves the video feed. Oh my God. Cross that one off. Um, Jack, and they have to write the date time. and time. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we love you. I know. You, you can diss me anytime. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, okay. I mean, really, we got to have a game. I love the trivia thing. That was fun. And we can we can give an extra good uh, gift card for 
playing game. We have game night. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm going to write that down because I already have a list of the different kinds of things that we're going to do. Um, okay. You guys, I want to double, double tell you on the 25th, I'm, we're doing a, um, a spells and full moon spells. Um, it's going to be spells all night and you can go ahead and download the spells. I'm going to give you like a pack of 10. Uh, that you can have and then I'm going to demonstrate it with the camera that faces down and then you can guys will have till the next day to get everything ready for the 26th that night you will be putting your stuff out in the full moon I'm going to show you how to charge crystals and water and I'm going to show you money spell love spell all kinds of stuff okay so don't forget that's next week on Wednesday I'm double checking it is <laughs> so that one that one's going to that one, I just love doing those, and that one's going to be a lot of fun. And um, we're going to have three 100-degree days, so I may be somewhere else uh, broadcasting. <laughs> I don't know. But it's going to be warm. Um, okay, so what else was on my list? Does anybody remember? I'm going to put game nights. We're going to do game night. Yeah. Let me find it. I'm going to write this down. Celebrity Crush. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. Unless that you're Jackie fun. and you like Bruno Mars and then your dreams get oh, crushed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we will do celebrity celebrity crush where you guys just tell me who your celebrity is and I'll see if you're compatible. And then we'll do um, we'll do some other games. We're gonna do a we'll do a bingo game. We'll put up some bingo cards and it's an honor system thing because anybody could go, bingo. <laughs> and we're going like, really? We only said like two things, you know, but we'll, yeah. we'll give out a, we'll give out good prices. It'll be fun. So anyway, um, anybody putting, um, I'm looking, we have 10 minutes and then we're going to be doing, uh, looking at readings. Boy, I had a lot of readings, long readings, you know, they seem like, um, I don't know if you ever do about an hour and a half reading. Yeah, Oy. I did a three hour, three hour. I went to uh, Rancho Santa Fe and did like a three hour. Mm. And that was long. That was good, though. The energy was up and it was good and all of that. But a pretty serious one that I had to do the other day. You know, you guys, you get the ones where, you know, you really, you know, stuff is happening and you really have to. It's not so up, you know. So true. Like, yeah. um. And it's amazing how some of the energy of the readings comes through. Like lately, mine have been very difficult relationship readings, or there's a lot more um, that's involved um, w during the reading. Whereas, you know, I, oftentimes people don't have such big circumstances uh, surrounding their relationships. So, um, oh, yeah. I've been getting a lot of those, so. Oh man. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. But it's great though that we get validation. So sometimes we do. Just sipping on our no, that's, diet that's Mountain what it's Dew. It. Well, uh, that's water actually. Oh. I drink all the Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> Are you kidding? They give me, they, I get it free at Taco Bell. <laughs> so like, Fill her up. I get my free drink. <laughs> um, I know. I think, you know, we have to go back to that validation. It is the number one thing. You know, we can't, you know, I, and I tell new readers and, and people like that, that I'm teaching and stuff. It's all about it. Otherwise we've got to do something else. You can't mm -hmm. be out there and doing readings and stuff and they're not resonating at all, or they're not coming true in the future or anything like that. So we, we need to make sure that we're really fully connected to the other side. So I finally watched Seatbelt Psychic. Did you? Was it good? Oh, my God. Yes. You haven't seen it? I oh, my not. God. No. It's so good. Uh, Thomas what? John is very good. Yeah. He's pretty, um, pretty popular in New York. Hmm. I, I think it's New York. I don't know. I was kind of looking at the scenery and stuff, but uh, he's so right on you guys about going mm -hmm. like, 
I've got, here's the name and here's the, the relationship. And this is what they're telling me and showing me and everybody's screaming in the back seat. But uh, when I first started watching it, there were so many people like were crying in the back seat. And I was like, oh, that's sad. But then we had some people that were joyful. So well, when you get into mediumship, you are talking to the dearly departed. I mean, mm -hmm. these people were loved and then they're getting these messages. So you're going to have a lot of tears, things like that. But um, he was he was amazing and I'm hooked on it. I, I can't wait to, you know, see the other episode. But I'm missing the healer. Did that go off? Do you guys know? I think it might oh. be coming back. But you I think I'd it's never just heard of it. The healer. That's on TLC. That's Charlie. Mm. Yeah, it he's is. On he's so good. He was um, trying to, um, and I thought about it because I heal, mm -hmm. and he was looking for other healers um, in some kind of a, you know, casting call. So I'm not sure what, you know, what they're going to be bringing in, but I can imagine that it's overwhelming that it's just him, mm -hmm. and the people, you know, what has he got? Probably a million you know, request to, for healing, yeah. but it's amazing. I'd love to go to like a class where mm -hmm. he shows how they visualize the um, energy and how to straighten it out so that the healing starts. And I would love to do that. And I heal a different way. Um, and, and it's so wonderful that a lot of people heal differently. You know, we have a huge population of people that do Reiki I just found my own niche, how to take the energy and to put it in and heal. And all kinds of the, you know, faith healers, hands-on healing. Um, and then, you know, seeing him and seeing the results were fantastic. Were the people within, you know, right away and hours and days and stuff just progressively got better and better. And that's such a wonderful thing, too. We, we are going to have... Um, do I have it? I have a healing. We're going to have a healing show. Uh, Brian wanted to have color breathing show. So I think color breathing with the healing. We're going to have a fairy show, a UFO show, and we'll have a game night. So we've got some good things coming up. Oh, and fun uh, stuff. I know. Did Andy leave again? I think he might have gotten kicked off. We are totally putting a bingo card up that will have like five <laughs> slots. And every slot says Andy disappears, and he's gone Andy again. He reappears, <laughs> Andy and, and Andy's stuff. frozen. <laughs> Nobody can hear Andy. <laughs> Andy got knocked out. He gets knocked out a lot. Look at we got eleven viewers, so we're missing Andy. I know. Uh, do Do you see anybody that um, I'm going to be doing a reading in like four minutes? I, I don't somebody... see any questions just yet. Angel you guys was... have the number one psychic on Fiverr sitting right here. Come on. <laughs> right in front of your screen. Um, Angel actually oh, was replying, God, God bless. <laughs> replying back to Andy about the relationship readings, how they've been kind of hard and stuff. Oh. She said, I bet that's because of the eclipse um, that they oh, yeah. really influence relationships. So that's probably right. And Vicky's you know, just laughing at us for what's oh, going on. I know, Vicky. I don't know. It's the same thing. We'll never get it together, but maybe that makes us all, you know, this seem very real. That's <laughs> why everybody tunes in to watch us <laughs> to see. You know, okay. After the show, we'll get 100 people, and then we get <laughs> another 100, you know, that way. But, yeah. If people tend not to know, I think that we're even on. But, you know, uh, you, oh, you guys, did you see the Wednesday show on manifesting? Oh, my God. If you didn't see the Wednesday show, go look it up because it was all about our book, Many Ways of Manifesting. And Andy and I went through it and we, you know, really taught you how to manifest in all the different methods of manifesting. So do go back to Wednesday show and see that. That's one of the good ones that, you know, manifesting will change your life. It's changed my life. People are getting great things. I do have somebody that was manifesting and um, had, you know, very angry, very angry and mad at the world and everything's going wrong, but I'm manifesting. 
I am I'm asking for this and I asked for that. And I go like, well, do you think there's a reason that you're not getting it? You can't be angry. No, I said, you have to be in gratitude. And so she's kind of switched gears now. So I'm anxious to see how that's going to really completely change her life. But you have to be in gratitude. So Wednesday show was fabulous. We went through just about everything we know <laughs> about manifesting. So go and watch it. If you need something to come into your life, if anything's hard in your life, life is hard, you guys. You know, have you guys ever met somebody that just kind of skated through life? Oh, there's a few, but not uh, many. Yeah, yeah, with yeah really a few. Hard, yeah, hard childhoods or, um, or hard relationships, or tragic things, money issues, health issues, you, you know, things come up. And so we're here to, to learn and we're here to, to have spiritual growth. And part of spiritual growth is learning things like manifesting. You know, when mm -hmm. you step out into finding out about the body and the energy zones, the chakras, get clearings and learn how to, to be a reader or how to, you know, develop this wonderful psychic um, sense that's in everybody, you mm -hmm. know, then you are getting spiritual growth and you're evolving. And so I just wonder, you know, a lot of us get down to the last few years and we're like, um, do, I really don't know if I want to come back again. I mean, that's where I'm at. <laughs> like, I don't want to come back again. But my girlfriend who really knows, uh, you know, past life counts. She's like, oh, no, you got X amount more. And I'm like, oh, shoot. How many more? <laughs> I don't know about that. But um, anyway, um, you know, we need to evolve and it's hard. And the neat thing about what Andy and I can do is that we can help you along on this when you have Andy's gone again, isn't he? Somebody just won bingo. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. It's so funny. And I'm so ready to start uh, reading. Yeah, so. I have a few questions. I was going to say, though, Kathy and Nancy uh, Johnston, put up your questions that you want to ask because I. I, Kathy put, I would love a reading. Nancy said, okay. I would like one, Debbie. Um, okay, because I'm ready. So just, I just, do you want a general? Do you want yeah, let us, what? Let us, yeah, what, what do you want? Re relationship, work. Or do you want just a general? Yeah, do you want to know general. if there's a message from the other side or what? I do have one from Nancy. Andy, um, get out your tarot cards. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> You know what, Jackie? Go ahead and just talk for a second. I didn't clear. I didn't clear for, for reading, so I just need a second. You yeah, guys no can talk. Okay. Um, yeah. Um. Sorry about leaving you guys. Um, okay. I'm Somebody won bingo some... already. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> no, it's really <laughs> upsetting. I can't show any of the comments in Be Live to show on our broadcast, mm. so uh, I don't even see them there. So, anyways, um, I can see them, the comments in Facebook. Yeah, that's normally yeah. how I do them. Um, I was going to say, we have Nancy uh, Myers said, what okay. do you see about my upcoming trip in September? So, that's oh. the first general question that I got on here. Um, and then we'll get down to Nancy Johnson. So let's see. Yeah. Wow, we got a we got a pretty good bunch Wait. watching us. Did you say this was a Myers? Who was the name? It's yeah, Nancy. I'm... Um, where to go? Nancy Pearman Myers. I'll see if I okay, can. Okay, this post. is Nancy Myers with the trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. Um, I just put it in our comment section, so it's on the screen. Okay. I love the way they focus when they get into their readings. It's always entertaining to watch. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say I've gotten a reading from both of them, so I know they're amazing. I've I've had the privilege of having them both do readings. So 
So if anybody else that's watching us tonight, if you have any other questions that you'd want to ask, just let us know. So there we go. I see a few questions on here. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. So, Nancy, for you, I do get the Queen of Pentacles. I get a very money-minded woman. So I really like that a lot. Um, very down-to-earth. And sometimes I get, um, with these people throughout their lifetime, they have success because they're so money-minded. So I do have that card for you. Crossing in temporary energy is just uh, the energy of working well with people getting along, working well with people. All right. The justice card is uh, for the future. So I feel like fairness happens and the right decisions made for the future for you. Past position is a great card. I love it. She got the 10 of pentacles, you guys. That's my jackpot card. <laughs> so I really, I really like the, uh, the family and all of this stuff. I really like all of that. It's, that's my jackpot card. I really like it. So when I look at September, I have a couple people here, matter of fact. First, I get a King of Cups, and I feel very, very um, uh, like this guy is kind and devoted and loyal. Sometimes kind of a dad energy or father. Maybe they'd be a good dad, but I feel very good about this guy. I feel maybe he likes nature and water, so I really like the King of Cups. Then I have a Queen of Swords, so I have some woman with a bigger personality here. Uh, I feel like she is... Um, she has a justice theme and she likes things a certain way. And she really feels like she's right. <laughs> so I get a great personality here and I feel really good. I feel like they're, they're all, uh, I always say allies when I mean they're on your side. I don't feel like you're going to get a little bit of money out of this trip. I'm getting something coming to you that was rightfully yours. Like something's going to come and it's connected to you. And you should be getting it, okay? Um, I do feel like there's a little bit of conflict that will happen kind of in mid-trip here. Um, I get it connected to the hangman card. So when we're looking at the hangman card, Nancy, we're looking at um, like we're learning a life lesson here. So I feel like there's a little bit of conflict. There's something going on. I don't feel like it's real big, but I feel like there's a lesson to be learned in this. Now, ultimate outcome I have here, I have a man. So somewhat just like the Queen of Swords, I have somebody with a strong personality. I have this man that's usually very in charge. Um, he's super intelligent. Also with the justice theme, uh, a lot of times uh, these people are super capable, the Queen and the King of uh, swords they can do just about anything they're smart uh they'd be good to go in to be attorneys or anything but also this person might has a lot of strength this man so military and police is good or anything he wants but he also is a little bit rigid and he believes a certain way and his way is right so mm -hmm. i have him in the mix so i have a lot of people here and i do feel like you're going to be getting something that you should get that's rightfully yours and you're going to get it okay so that's what i have what do you but this big thing nancy about learning a life lesson is a whole different thing sometimes they bring that in and it means that um, you're going to go through something and learn something or have some spiritual growth. And so they can't tell me everything unless I were to take more cards or ask them pretty please <laughs> because you need to learn this. So, Andy, what do you have? Yeah, um, mine lines up with yours pretty, pretty accurately. And um, so what I got first off was the world card. Nancy for you because um, we're talking about traveling so that was pretty interesting to see pop up um, this trip will bring you closure to something that you've been struggling with and I feel like it's uh, either a relationship um, or uh, some emotional uh, attachment to somebody uh, close to you um, the energy crossing you is it's kind of a get through this moment for you currently I feel like you feel stuck so for the month of this month uh, you're in the dark you're trying to make a decision between two things and the two things um, uh, 
is about this trip. Um, like Debbie had mentioned, do we have enough money? Um, you know, cause you like to save your money and, and, uh, do we have enough money or, or are we good? But uh, I got the devil card and the two of swords for this month. So that just tells me there's something going on. You're in the dark about it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So month two, I, I just see Nancy that you're going to explore more. You're going to listen more to your intuition or you're going to reach out to a psychic, uh, pro probably Debbie or myself. Um, I, I get, the, I, I see the high priestess and, and I see you exploring your options in two months there. So um, I, I think things are on the path to what you're wanting because it, it sure says that. And I'm seeing that in, in front of me here at the end, the final outcome um, by September is the Ten of Cups. So I got the Ten of Cups. Debbie got the King of Cups. Um, that just aligns perfectly with this man. Mm -hmm. So you spelled, and I get so judgment. So uh, Debbie got um, <clears throat> she got the uh, Queen of the uh, King of Queen of Swords, uh, Justice theme cards, judgments there as well. So aha moment for you. Okay. <laughs> you were freezing yeah. there. <laughs> you're making some twinks. And you you I became play. a techno Bingo. song for a second. <laughs> Bingo. I swear. Oh. We, need a, we need a benefactor for some better <laughs> Wi-Fi or something. I don't well, know. Well, you know what's funny? Last week, I was the one having all the trouble with all my stuff falling <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Last right. Friday, that was pretty. That do we was have entertaining. An, do we? Uh, uh, do we have an? Oh, so Nancy, good luck with that. Do we have another question? I do. Um, Kathy says she just wanted a general reading. Okay. Um, Let's all right. see. It's Kathy Ivanko. Just what's what's the last Ivanko? initial? It's with I? an e. e. Okay, that's good enough. That's fine. Let's see. General. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do uh, three months for you, Kathy. And then I didn't and forget the other Nancy. Oh, and, and who else? Carlos. Carlos um, has a question. Nancy Johnson had a question um, on Nancy here, too. Johnson. And, and, Kathy, God. Oh, and okay. Carlos. Yeah. That's the way I'm All right. trying to see them in order. Um, for Kathy, though, I'm not going to do a full reading. I feel drawn to do just uh, an angel card reading uh, for her. That's so. I love when you do those. Those are always fun. And I often find that with these Oracle cards, I don't know if any of you have ever used them much. Um, Angel Answers is a good one. So you can just call upon Archangel Michael, Raphael, Uriel. Um, there's another one. There's so many, I guess. Um, and you ask them to come in and help you pick a card and then it has a book meaning to it. So there's not a lot of freedom though with the Oracle yeah. other than their angels to me are very direct in what they want to tell you. Um, so. And Debbie's ready. ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Kathy, the card that came down that represents you is my temperance card, which means multi-skilled that you have all these wonderful skills i love this when it comes down right away the first one i know there's someone that's capable and talented and really can do a lot of different things management people you can do all this stuff i love it i've got great worry over you right now which temporary energy i have the nine of swords this is like worried but magnified fears so just bring it down okay you have the star card. Oh, my goodness. I need special music. 
for the future, Kathy, the star card, when I first started doing tarot, I talked to the other side and I said, I need a personal message from you. I need a personal message to give to my client and um, in special circumstances. So I have one card in the tarot and it's a star card and it came up for your future. I love this card because it's a card of hope and to have courage. So literally, it's to have a positive attitude, telling you to wish it to be, which is to manifest, right? Mm -hmm. To have courage and hope, get your inspiration from above because it's positive for the future for you. This comes sometimes when people are experiencing what I call Groundhog Day, where they're repeating the same thing and they're not getting anywhere, or they have some highs but lots of lows. This comes and say, no matter what, it's going to be great for you in the future. Now, the funny thing is, um, I don't get this all the time. And I've done, gosh, I'm almost up, I think, to 2,800 um, readings on Fiverr now, you know. And so I've done a lot more than that in life. So um, it doesn't come up that often. This is a special thing for you for the future. Past position, past, I get a little bit of heartache here, okay? Now, when we're looking at time periods, I'm going to go every two weeks here. So from now through two weeks, I have the Knight of Cups card. This is the romantic dreamer card, tending to think romantic, romantically, but also telling me that you need to manifest for whatever you want. This is a good time to do it. In week three and four, I have the Queen of Cups. So there's actually a couple women here. And if, if you can respond, you can tell me if you uh, identify one of these women just for you. I have a Queen of Cups, very nurturing. This woman can take care of anything, would be a great mom. A lot of times these cards come up for nurses and things or artists. So we got this super creative woman and one that's psychic. This woman has a great intuition and she's very romantic, thinks very romantically. So I have that person coming in importance in week three and four. Now, when we get to month two, the first two weeks, I feel like we're in a little, like nothing's happening, a little lack of motivation here. Almost like somebody might offer you something, you go, I don't know if I want it. I don't know. Uh, so we need to manifest and rev up stuff in life to get going during that time period. Um, I do have a big card for the next two weeks. It's a justice card. Even though it's a legal card in here, in your reading, it means fairness is done and the right decisions made. So a major decision is made here by you, and it is absolutely the right decision. When we do get to month three, the first two weeks, I do have a woman that comes in in importance, a very much an ally here. I get a queen of wands. I feel like she's the one who needs to be there. I get very much an ambitious woman. Like she wants to go somewhere and she's driven, this driving all the way to the magician card. The magician card is your last card for month three. This is so important, Kathy, super important. Um, when I get the magician card in the first four cards, I'm usually talking to an inventor. I will catch them every time. I go, how many patents you got? This means that you have a money-making idea coming in. You've got to know that, remember it, put it on your calendar, and write down your ideas. This is a money-making idea. I'm not getting so much. Usually I can get if it's a product. A lot of people go, yes, I am you know, got one in the mix. I'm getting more like a money-making idea. This can set you up for money for your life. So make sure that you write down any great creative ideas during this time period. So if you are the queen of cups, this kind of goes right in with that being super creative. And then here the money-making idea comes. So that's what I have for you through three months. So good luck with that. Um, did you have an angel card for her? I did. And I got... Take action. So that's exactly what she needs to hear, too. The angels are saying take action. Uh, Debbie, you had mentioned the, the queen of wands. She's the, the queen of taking action and movement and making things happen. So definitely uh, listen to the, um, you know, from the other side and from what Debbie was saying. These women are, or this woman is going to be very important uh, in your future. Did you notice, Andy, that I got that lack of motivation card? Like nothing's going on. It's like somebody right. will hand something, you know, I don't care. So here you go. There's the, what their message is. Don't, don't do that. Take action. 
Don't mm-hmm. sit by and let that offer go by. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I get. All right. She Good said, luck, Kathy. Yeah, she said thank you. Um, let's see. Oh, the next one we have another Nancy. Nancy J. Um, she said, where'd it go? I would like to know what to expect in the upcoming, nope, wrong one. Let's see. I know she said she wanted to hear about what's going to happen within the next six months. Oh, okay. We, we're not going to do six months because, um, it's too long for these. Yeah. It takes too long. We'll do three months. Let's or whatever see. the okay. other side wants to tell, we'll do one of those. I have to take extra cards. I have to take 20 cards for that. Okay. So let's see. So Nancy, Nancy. Um, Is that okay, Nancy? Three, Can we just do three months? Three months. Yep. I, don't, I haven't gotten a reply back yet. I'm sure it's okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure she'd be happy with it. Well, we're going to do it. <laughs> that just means yeah. she has to come back and ask what happens after those three months. <laughs> That's right. Come back next Friday. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and um, do you know that that next Friday one is going to be full moon? Oh, yes. Oh. And she said, yes, that's fine for the three months. Sure, Nancy, we'll do that. Let's get Lena on to do some of yeah. our, the really scary stories that are true that have happened in our in our investigations. Or we'll try uh, Chris and Janine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and you guys, wonderful Janine did get to try out for The Voice. She did a great job. But they said, um, you know, sometimes when they do these, they say, come back. We want you to come back next year. So she'll be coming back next year. Oh, and trying okay. to the voice. Yeah, so that had a happy ending. Okay, so, okay, Nancy J. We got all that. Nancy's watching. Um, Carlos, you had asked me a question if I was a psychic or medium. I've been oh. told that I'm gifted, but I'm too terrified to do my gift. Um, so that's something I definitely have to work on. <laughs> um, and do what my Aunt Debbie told me to do, go take classes and do the tarot and um, get more into it. So. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> and look what happened to me. You disappear from the screen every time. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, I learned so much that you know um, how Debbie teaches <laughs> the tarot <laughs> is completely um, so easy, and um, I don't know. It's the one method where you don't you set your intention, and it's just amazing. So um, I know she, she teaches it. You teach it out of, I, I believe she teaches it out of her home mm-hmm. or um, at some, maybe at some community spot. No, she teaches oh, at, at, her, at house. her house. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I love teaching at my house. I love it. I have a big living room and I just, I set it all up and it's so, it's so homey. And people come mm-hmm. in and they feel the energy is great because it's all warded. I don't have to worry about going in and warding and protecting everything, you know, in yeah. another place. But I hope I hope that we'll have like a meeting areas and stuff because I really want I really want a wellness center. God give me a wellness center. I really want to have people be able to come and to help them with all their problems. I mean everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. Be so wonderful. It's needed. Oh, man, Nancy J, you have a lot of stuff. Okay, let me look. Nancy J, are you a psychic? Oh, my Lord, she gets the high priestess card straight down. That's usually I'm talking to a professional psychic. Saying. (laughs) I know, I know her. Um, I did work with Nancy so, um, and I've done a few readings with her, but I believe I've gotten that for her as well. So, yeah. and she's, she's like, uh, Whoa. intuitive. Yeah. I get this. 
Nancy, when I'm doing readings, I get people that disguise themselves. I get celebrities and I get all kinds of people, but I always get a lot of psychics. I get this and I call them out. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if I get it, the first one or the, the fourth one. And I'm like, um, so you're pro professional psychic. And they're going, ah, and I'm like, Remember, I'm a psychic, okay? Believe it or not, you've got the strong ability, and if you haven't developed it, do, okay? It's fantastic. You also, oh my gosh, Andy, she's got the manifesting card crossing her. If you want to do great things in your life, Nancy, you start manifesting right now. Do it. Let us know. If you need our book, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it away, and Andy's going to kill me. I will give no. it away. <laughs> no, I <don't> <laughs> Just private message me on, <laughs> so Andy doesn't know, on Psychic Fixes, and I'll send you the PDF, okay? You are crossed with the Knight of Cups. You know, I love this card because it's a romantic dreamer card, and it's one that gives, you can see your ideas clearly, but it's my big manifesting card. I bet you could do great, I mean, really phenomenal things that you can manifest in, and, and not only that, help others with. It's really great. In the future, I got a King of Swords coming in in importance. Feel like the guy with the Justice scene, very strong guy. I feel he's. I feel like this one's strong physically, and very smart and capable. So I have this guy coming in in the future. Past position is just like doing a job or learning or whatever. Whatever you do regularly, you're doing. That's all I'm getting. I'm just doing a job, making money or whatever I'm doing. All right. Um. Hmm. Give me a second on this one. It's not a big deal. I just got to connect to who it is. Uh oh. Important no, message from a, somebody. It's not. Wow. It's not. It's not. <laughs> I just got to discern something. Mm. Okay. All right. We have the Knight of Swords here, Nancy, and a lot of times I have to discern, is this I'm telling you to be cautious and not jump to conclusions or job, not commit to something without thinking? I'm not getting that. I'm getting that. I feel like the touch of this King of Swords presents here, uh, but he's not ready here. I feel like he's I, this man is that comes in is confused and doesn't know what he wants in life and all of that. It's, certainly some of you doesn't commit to anything and is impulsive. So I just feel like we have this touch of this person that comes in from now through two weeks, but I feel like he'll be in, in the future. Okay. Because I'm like, is this, am I supposed to be telling you to be cautious? Do it anyway. <laughs> but I feel like somebody comes in and it just, just like, just kind of comes in and out you know, here at this time period. Um, in week three and four, it's a strength card. This is when I tell you to, to find that inner strength. Oh, women, we need to be fierce. We need to be strong women. And this is when you face your fears at this point. It's like not a dire thing, but you have a big decision to make. So don't be afraid of it, okay? In month two, the first two weeks, I have the big decisions. Like this is when the big opportunities come on, not little things. This is like, you know, where do I live? What is my career? These are the, do I buy a house? These are going to present. Something's going to present at this time and you need to make a decision on it. Okay. I kind of looking, I don't see you making decision yet, but I feel like mm -hmm. those opportunities come in. So we have to start thinking about them. I would be manifesting for more clarity and being able to make all the decisions without waiting. Okay. In uh, the next two weeks, I have the Page of Swords. For at this point, when we have these big things in life coming at us, you're going like, well, I'm a little cautious. I'm not really trusting what's going to happen in the future. It makes you rethink stuff because here they are. Uh, now I'm not really sure about the future. Um, now, I have great cards for months. Three, the first two weeks, we have a celebration here. Sometimes if you were to be in a very strong relationship, this is such a big card. It's like my engagement card. It's like a reason to celebrate. So it could be just a party, but I have a reason to celebrate that is significant that comes in in three months. Now I have a guy that comes in at the end, the King of Pentacles. This is the money guy. This guy is usually has money. Sometimes they own a business or they're on their way to something like that. Money mean, means everything, even over a relationship with this man. And I feel like he comes in importance at that end of three months. Okay. So that's what I 
that's what I have. Andy, did you take a card? Yeah, I took an uh, angel card for you. So, Nancy, I got forgiveness. So the angels want you to, or they're suggesting to you, um, it uh, to do forgiveness, either whether it was caused by other people or if it's uh, self-forgiveness, um, that's what... That's what it feels like. It feels like a combination between the two. So if there's something that's been holding you back, uh, definitely look into self-forgiveness. Um, and I, I find it easier just to give you a little insight. Um, when healing's involved and you're not really sure what to start out with, and this is for everybody as well, there is some guided meditations out there on YouTube uh, for people that don't meditate or they don't know how and they think it needs to be an hour, it, you know, it doesn't have to be. You can even have it playing while you're sleeping or just before you go to bed and then manifest and ask the angels on the other side to help you with whatever it is. So um, with healing and forgiveness uh, is what they're recommending as well. You know what you're talking about? Like you can listen to stuff when you're asleep. I went out. There was a time in my life I had so much anxiety. It spurred a panic attack. It was so weird. And I said, I don't like this. So mm -hmm. I'm not one that goes and takes pills or anything. So I found a hypnotherapist. And so I went right over there and I got hypnotized. And she gave me the cassette to this day, guys. And that was, oh, my God, 20 years ago or something. Um, to this day was more than 20. Um, I will turn it on and I, I'm out. And I wake up when she goes and I go, okay, it's, it works to this day. I just, mm -hmm. I, I lay there and I listen to her and I'm out like a anything. And then I wake up when she snaps her finger to wake up. And it just is amazing what your subconscious can, you know, take in. Uh, when you are meditating, when you're listening to guided meditation, when you're being, which to me is the same thing as being hypnotized, don't you? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. I and think it, I if think it goes in your, like your subconscious mind is um, kind of where we want it to go. And um, so then it can come through your conscious state. Yeah. Thank, thank goodness it's I, awake. Yeah. <laughs> but I always feel like it saved my life because um, I don't know if anybody's ever had a panic attack, but I have always worked hard in my life and been busy and energetic and everything. And I was never doing anything really relaxing and taking care of, you know, making sure that the stress wasn't on me. And it just, I think, accumulated until one day I was, you know, like, you know, what happened is I had like some kind of an optical migraine and that kind of scared me. And then there that they started and I had a couple and I said, OK, that's I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm going to take care of it. And I did. And hypnosis is what what did it and took it right right out, gone forever. And it was great. So the guided meditations are so good, to, especially if they're going to do an affirmation in it. And it plays it over and over, and it's going to program your mind. Look at the, I said to everybody that Hay House, at the end of the month, um, next week, is going to have this big healing workshops. And this one guy who literally broke his back into many pieces, and he's a doctor, rebuilt himself with thinking about and seeing his body be being put back together again. So, mm. and he was where he was never going to ever walk again and everything. That man healed in so many weeks. He was done. And so we have to, we have to get out of just thinking that this is this way. And that's the only way it can be. Exactly. You can heal. You can guided meditation will take you everywhere. It will pump you up. It'll make you confident. It will, you can manifest and you're going to bring in money you're going to bring in that I manifested a husband. He walked right in in two weeks. Come on. We can do this. And um, all these things can really change, be a, a deal changer for you. Do we have time to do one more? Do yeah. one more? Well, you were video? speaking of healing, and Carlos asked, actually has a question about, it's for a friend. Okay. 
and it has to do with healing. It says, I have a question that's for a friend. Is Alex Winchester legit in her healing work? When will it be completed for my friend? Okay, we're not going to do that online. We're mm-hmm. asking if another, if a healer is real. I guess that's that what, what he's asking. Um, yeah, we, we can't, Carlos, we can't do that on, on live. That wouldn't be fair. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We already did that one. And we don't do any health ones, but we, we can't go call anybody out. Mm-hmm. You understand. I know you do, Carlos. Yeah. <clears throat> you could talk to uh, us uh, offline and we'll, we can discuss a little bit more of it. Um, oh, what do you think on this one? Um, ah, Andy, I just got a thing in on my computer and it says Amazon payments coming in. Royalties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For our books. Okay. What, did, we, what question did yeah, you Yeah, let's do this one. I like, okay. hopefully it fits on the screen. Oh, it does. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Her name is Champagne. Yeah, I, I was just drawn to that. Can I have it? I know. Can I have it? <laughs> not to drink. I'm not. I'm not a drinker, but I love the name. I what? used to be. Maybe that is why I was drawn. Ugh. You're drawn. Just say no. <laughs> no. <Just> say <laughs> champagne. Say. Okay. Spiritual path. Yeah. Okay. This sounds like a mediumship one to me, mm. Mr. Benson. You think so? Okay. I'm going to take some cards. Up. <laughs> I will take a few cards as well, too. Um, <laughs> she said, yes, it's her real name. She always gets asked that. <laughs> we could do one of these things how do you do what he thinks I love your name that's a heart you can do it in sign language with the I love you almost oh yeah it's hard to do that hearts okay well I'm gonna I did a quick three card reading for her for champagne and in regards to your spiritual growth and your future i'm getting um almost like you're recuperating uh or relaxing it's it's like it's on the back burner so to speak so they're showing me that um now you're kind of i feel I mean, I have to say what I'm seeing here, but I get the tower card as current for you. So spiritually, I just think you're you're struggling. Uh, it feels like you're struggling between what you truly want to do and what your, um, I want to say, your belief system was or uh, from your past that you may not. <clears throat> I feel like there's maybe a little bit of a, some issues there. So, um, and then in the future, though, to get through this, there's a, there's going to be an emotionally stable man. Um, yeah, King of Cups. He he's going to be like an empath, so he's going to be very, you know, spiritually aware of feelings so much, um, so much more. But for you, um, I I feel like you're an empath as well. So this this would be a great fit. Um, uh, you guys could read each other and not even, not even have to say a word. But uh, spiritually, though, I I feel like there's somebody else coming in that's going to help. So that's what I got. Okay, champagne. I love that. Um, the card that came down for you is the Knight of Pentacles. This is my card of letting you know. I think you're all about wanting money to come in on a steady basis and grow. I have a lot of money cards for you, too. You do get the star card crossing you in temporary energy. This is amazing. Um, so it just says to have courage and hope and get your inspiration from above. 
This is really positive for the future for you. And this is that energy crossing you. When you have energy crossing, this is what you're manifesting in. So it's absolutely wonderful. This is from the other side. They're personally telling you, no matter what, it's going to be great. You're up against a challenge I have here. I feel like it's hard to go forward, better not go backwards, trying to dig in and just stay where you're at here. I feel like a little cautious, not very trusting what's going to happen in the future. So I want, to, I want you to change that because the, the star card trumps all of that, lets you know that everything's going to be okay. Now, I want to tell you that you have everything that you need, all your tools in the toolbox here. I have temperance card for you in the future. I feel like you're going to have every skill that you need. So your spiritual path is to learn a little bit, the jack of all trades, to learn a little bit about everything because I'm getting multi skill. So I would be definitely going on this. I'm going to tell you that I really do feel like champagne, that you could make money from this. Okay. I know I feel like the past you were a little stuck and have an indecision. I do feel like whatever you're doing, let's say you put time and money into it, it's going to pay off financially, like financial independence in the future. And I feel like you can get a job doing this stuff. All right. I do get a little bit about some kind of a thing about love, like making a, a choice in love and romance or a new romance or something. I do have a man here. I have the king of pentacles. So I feel like a money minded man comes in in the mix for you. But definitely I know that maybe things are challenging. Maybe you're unsure about the future. I want to tell you it's going to be great. Also remember I want you to learn a little bit about everything because I feel like you're going to need all those little skills as you go on your spiritual path. If you feel once you are learning about everything and taking classes and all of this, it is preparing you actually to be able to have a career in this. And I feel like you could do it. Okay. So that's what I have. So we'll see. All right. So good luck. She she says, wow, thanks. Um, yes. Um, so me. It's so it, hard. Yeah, it's a roller coaster. Thank you all again so much. I needed to hear this. It's going to be great. You got the star card. That is that is when I talk to the other side. You guys, I talked to the, I talked to all, everybody. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, universe, archangels, good angels, good people on the other side, spirit guides. I talk to all of them. I work with them all throughout the day. And when I sat down and I said, you know, I want a personal card when that star card comes. And it really is a special thing to come. And I can't believe I saw it, you know, a couple of times tonight. It really means no matter what you're doing, if you've experienced Groundhog Day and you're not getting anywhere, if you had a couple highs and lots of lows, don't worry. You're going to break the cycle. It's going to be okay. It's fantastic in the future for you. And I want to tell you, Champagne, if you go and you learn this stuff, this card that I got that says whatever you put time and money, because sometimes the classes cost money, you put time and money into it. It doesn't just pay off in a little bit of finances I can get along. This can be financial independence for you. So go for it if you want it. It shows me that you will get, not that you have the skills all right now. I have to tell you that, completely honest. I don't sugarcoat stuff. In the future, you will have all those skills. All right? That's what I have. All right, you guys, it's time to give away a gift card. One to 100. Put a number from one to 100. And write it in the comments. And um, can somebody grab a random generator or do you number generator? Or you want me to do it? Um, I can do it. Okay. If mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Jackie, can you watch the numbers? Yeah. Thank you. And, and, and I'll get uh, the generator. Okay. So everybody put a number in and I'll, I am all ready with a thank you card here to send you the tacos. Um, <laughs> we really appreciate our viewers so much. It's such a blessing for us to be here and to be able to do these readings for you guys and um, have the interaction. And we are very thankful. So if you win, one of you are going to win, except for where's my list of the people that already won? My in 30 mom. Days. Your mom is probably off the hook by now. So um, <laughs> I don't believe anybody's on that can't win because we can win every 30 days. 
So um, we will, um, I need you to private message me if you are the winner, your address, and I will put it in the mail tomorrow. So I picked this out. I like the blues and the purples. There is your taco. And I went tonight because they have nacho fries. You know how long oh, I've waited for nacho <laughs> fries to come back? Oh, my God. And they jacked them up 29 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, do you already know. have the number? I do. All right. So Are we done? Well, I'm going to start reading some of the numbers. Okay. Uh, champagne, who's got 88. Kathy E., who's got 52. Carlos is 77. Um, God's Will, 80. Wendy at 73. And I believe her name is you at 33. Let's see. Anybody else have any numbers down for us? Like... One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty sure we can get a few more people to put down some numbers in for us. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm getting the envelope ready. Julie <laughs> said 65. Let's see. What would you guess, Jackie? If you could. <laughs> the only reason why I'm going to say this number is because it's tomorrow, but I want to say 21, but I know that's what I would guess. Nancy P said 28, and Tamara said 39. Um, let's see. Okay. Tamara won and she's eligible August 6th. Is it the same Tamara? Wilson? Just one? I didn't put the last name. Just ask her. You don't have to worry unless she wins. But she won on somebody. Tamara won on July 6th. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I was going to say, Andy, if you're ready to give the number... I am. Okay. Here it goes. The number was 20? Yeah. I was You were so close. Oh, my gosh. Like, ah, You're so how do I <laughs> Well, the only reason I wanted to say the 21st because tomorrow's my birthday. <laughs> oh, happy birthday early. Thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, July 21st, and 7 and 21 are my lucky numbers. Who won, so, you guys? Who won? So, let's see. The closest person to 20 looks like it was, let's see, you? It says, wow. Did you say me? <laughs> no, that's, I think that's what her name is. I'm, oh, I'm sorry you if I missed. Yeah, yeah. Uchi Su. Yes. Uh, she she put down 33. 33. She's the closest. All right. Oh, yay. Congratulations. Okay. Go ahead and please, uh, you please go ahead and private uh, message me um, and with an ad U.S. address, and I will send it to you. I'm all ready to put it in the card and mail it tomorrow. So just send your address. Congratulations. Congrats. Yeah. You get tacos. So that is good. Um, I also put on our list that we're going to do a protective magic show. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Next time we're going to do spells and rituals for the full moon. So everybody oh. have your notebooks and stuff. Take notes and then we'll let you access the documents for... I don't know, two days, three days, we'll let you download them. Right. And then they go away forever, guys, because they're going to be in a book someday. And so maybe either we'll do scary stories on the full moon. If we can't get anybody, we'll do protective magic. And we'll go through all the things that you can do metaphysically to protect yourself from any negativity or you know evil spirits, so to speak. Yes, because there really are some. Just go get our book. Little book of big evil, and you'll see some of the things that are out there. But they are now. Let's see. 
Did I win bingo? I think we all won bingo today. <laughs> Andy did. Okay, somebody, one of us have to do a bingo game and get it going because it was just too fun. We have to write down all the incorrect stuff that goes wrong. <laughs> oh, I know. Make a card. I responded. Uh, I know, well, if Molly is still watching, um, she had wrote, she posted something about or responded to a post and it had to do with um, electronics and the spirit world and um there's three people sitting at a seance together and they all have their cell phones and it says spirit please send us a text if you're here or something <laughs> um but you make they it, do you make it yeah well yeah uh, and you make it yeah, something you do. don't want die bitch die is a good one that comes out um yeah <laughs> I, hey, let me open my box, you guys. Remember Kevin Lee? He said yes. put the crayons in there. Oh, I forgot yeah. to go get crayons, but I have I have colored pencils. Let's see. I didn't do any of the things Kevin said to do. I did not charge everything and put it in there. I didn't do it. But let's see. I got a blank card. <laughs> My God. They did not draw me a picture. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> I'll uh. keep trying. I'll keep trying. I want to do the spirit drawing, but I really, you know what? I didn't, any of the things they said to do, we were supposed to kind of charge mm -hmm. the stuff you put in. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering though, Debbie, we should try this in the future is have something like that. Leave it in a haunted area. Come back the next day and see. I don't know how I feel about you guys doing. <laughs> like that would be neat. To see like if what? Something... Where am I going to go? Stick it in the Whaley house? Yeah, you, gotta, you might get to, something. Wait a minute. We have to understand this, Andy. People always say, "I want to go to the haunted house. I want to go to that haunted house. I want to go whatever. I got to go to the graveyard." You guys, if your house is open, it'll happen right in your house. I'm right. telling you that the spirits are everywhere. If you allow them in, they'll come in. You're never alone. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to go anywhere. And um, what Kevin was doing was a whole different thing. And he said it takes 15 years, you know, to learn. But you're charging somehow, you're charging energy into the implements that you're putting into the box. And you are inviting spirits in to uh, draw on that paper. And one of the things I do at my house is I usually have it very closed up spiritually. Um, because I want to control what comes in because I had it open. And when I had it open, they were the ones that were, you know, really messing with me. And they were, you know, bamming at 3 a.m. and all kinds of stuff. And I needed to sleep. So um, this is Wendy said Nancy won. She got who put that one up? I guess I guess Nancy won. I don't see her number. I on did my not write tablet. I didn't write anything unless my tablet's being really weird. Oh. Huh. That's let me see. Okay. Okay. I'm not privy to going in. Can you guys I'm really sorry. Um uh, what we're gonna do is uh we are going to uh have to when we go off We'll go in and look at the actual right. feed because we had a lot of trouble and we're not seeing comments. Mm -hmm, and right. then we're going to, we'll write down the winner, okay? And, but um, if Nancy is the winner, and there was two Nancys, guy, if Nancy, if Na one of the Nancys was a winner, we will go ahead and send a copy of uh, one of our books to uh, you. It's you, right? We'll make sure that we're compensating. For that so we'll figure that out oh well um let's see you just said i don't live in the states maybe give it to her so oh. it looks like i just rebooted my yeah because i kind of felt, i kind of got that vibe that's why i said if you have a u.s address because i was like yeah. oh i'm feeling so it. nancy actually did put down 28 i just rebooted okay. our Which nancy? so nancy um p Okay. Nancy Myers. 
Her, she's got two <laughs> Nancy, last names. Nancy she's got two okay, last Nancy names like, like me. Where okay, congratulations, Nancy. Okay. Yeah, we, I apologize you're, about that. <laughs> you're so nice to you. If you would like a copy of one of our books, one is um, if you're a tarot reader, one is on manifesting, one is on protective magic, and one is on story. two stories of of dark entities. If you'd like to have one of those books, I'll go ahead and send it to you. Just let me know in a private message. Nancy P, send me your address and I'll send you some tacos. Okay, it's time to go to the lobby, guys. We're over. A little bit over in our time. All right. <laughs> I still have a lot. You guys, you know, I work at night. So I still have like at least four readings to do. So time to go. Okay. We'll All right. Well, Wednesday. great show. Congratulations, Nancy. Nancy P. Myers. <laughs> and uh, I'll I'll see you you two later. Okay, Debbie. Yeah, and right. Jackie. Bye. Right, bye. Thank you for watching. Take care. We'll see you Wednesday. Bye.